Marcus, what, what makes this team, you know, so selfish and what, what worked on them? I think it's shot close to 60% of the offense. Um, just, you know, it's fun when you see everybody, you know, scoring the ball. Um, it's kind of contagious, you know, just yeah. making the extra pass um, and just everybody just really wanting to win, you know. We don't have not one guy on this team, you know, that's selfish. So it's just fun playing with these guys. And, you know, like I said, it's just contagious when the ball keeps moving and finding an open guy for the uh, open shot. Is that something that you guys, like, come into the program already with that mindset or something that they have to teach you guys? Um, it's kind of both. You know, we all had good attributes, you know, like pass and scoring. But, you know, Coach does a good job as, you know, putting us all together and, you know, making us play as a team. But, you know, that just come with practice. So I feel like just us practicing that way and then it's kind of easy when you go out there in the game and do it because you've been practicing it for so long. Having guys like Juan, you know, Jarius, does that make it you know, more, yeah. more fun to pass? Yeah, it's, way, it's, it's much more fun. You know, them are two bigs that can pass the ball and score the ball. So they they vision is like a point guard. So it's like really like five guards on the court. That's why, you know, they make passes I ain't even seen before. So it's like you said, yeah, it's real fun with them too, playing with them. One of those players, specifically Tremont Mark, something that Coach was talking about, has really grown as really just being able to make the right basketball right. player, not necessarily just being a scorer. How have you seen him grow in that aspect? Um, yeah, like I said, you know, we all came here. We can score the ball. We all had different um, strengths and weaknesses. But he could also pass. So, you know, when Coach just brought it out of him and showed him, you know, that you're going to get the ball back, you know, uh, all right, they gonna make a play for you for you to get an easier shot. You know, I think they just click with them, and then it was just contagious for all of us. You know, all of us was trying to play kind of one on one at the beginning of the season, but you know, it's way more way more funner just playing together and you know, getting um, our other guards open shots like that. So, how do you see Juwan grow offensively? It seems like he's you know yeah. that little hook from him is you know right. Um, just you know, every day he working. You know, him and Coach Kellen down there working on his game, um, post game, mid range game. Right? It's just finally paying off. Everybody's seeing it. Emmanuel's shot, three-point shot, I feel like every time he shoots, it's like the same motion every yeah, time. Yeah, he's he a great shooter. Yeah. Him and I feel like he right there with me and Ryan. Like, yeah. um, he put the same around, same amount of work in as us, so, you know, that's no surprise for me to see him. And like you say, every time he shoots the ball, I think it's going in. Yeah. What do you think? Does his instant offense give you guys sort of a lift off? Um, you know, I feel like it's real important. Um, as you can see today, he kind of gave us a big spark. He, um, he really started the run for us. You know, he had three threes, and then everybody else started getting going. So it's real important to have him come off the bench and, um, you know, be an instant offense player. Well, one more question on Emmanuel. What, what do you think his potential is? Uh, I think he, yeah, he's, he's young. Um, mm -hmm. He's very coachable. And, you know, he listens. So I think his potential is through the roof, really.